welcome back so today we're going to look at how to conduct a field visit and also how you can uh, write your field monitoring report field visit monitoring report yeah so what exactly is a field visit um a field visit is our uh, direct observation of a program or project at its site uh, its purpose is to enable the person making the field visit to obtain the first hand account the progress of a program or project towards achieving the expected results outlined in the work plan or your project monitoring evaluation framework. So in brief, it's a, it's a direct observation whether the project has, is actually achieving progress towards its desired outcome. Yeah. So what are the steps you can take when you're conducting your field visit? One, define the purpose of a field visit. This is like the objective of your field visit. For example, if uh, a project is uh, related to maybe uh, maternal health, then uh, your field visit you will be like uh, maybe you're going to visit households to households that have had children affected with uh, a malaria to see how they're faring if the project is in that line of intervention. So this is just an active, uh, an example. You can uh, come up with that a specific objective related to the, your intervention. Then to you, uh, draft a schedule of the activities, itinerary, visits, visits, and the persons responsible. It's very also important to make it very participatory. Normally, uh, as m and is evolving, it's very participatory in nature. So you have to engage other maybe if it's implementing partners in the program yeah in the field visit you engage them to be more participatory yeah so you share your activities that this is the activity we are going to be doing maybe if it's a field visit monitoring visit for like a week then you create a, a, an activity schedule uh, that these are the activities you are going to conduct on day one up to to day five, and these are the persons responsible on each activity. Uh, then create a data collection plan of what uh, exactly you you'll use or do during the field visit. The field visits are normally uh, the data collection plans are normally very qualitative in nature. If it's not uh, still like you can do quantitative, so you just specify that uh, if it's a field visit and I'm just identifying or trying to to know the social change or impact of this program, those are qualitative data collection methods. So you can know that I'm going to use, uh, you list them, I'm going to use observation methods or I'm going to do focus group uh, discussions, I'm going to do interviews with uh, these people I'm going to visit. Yeah, so you list the methods you'll use in your field visits. Uh, then fourthly, you request for funding for your field visit, and uh, after the field visit has uh, been uh, supported, then you actually conduct your field visit. Yeah. So, what are the procedures you're actually supposed to take, or you are to take when you're conducting or undertaking your field visit? Yeah. One, uh, you must obtain the views of the target population. These are the direct beneficiaries of the program. Yeah, understand how the project or program is affecting them. The recommendations for addressing the relevant issues. Yeah, also determine any successes or adequate mechanism in place that you can put in place. Obtain feedback from these stakeholders on how the project intervention is actually what? Affecting their lives. That's it. When you're actually conducting a field visit, uh, then uh, inspect your project or program outputs, on-site services, and assess their adequacy in terms of the quality and quantity, vis-a-vis -vis your expected results. So you always know, as a project uh, manager or field M and E manager, you know that the project always has expected uh, outcome results. That results chain. So it's very important when you're conducting your field visit that you're always relating it to the project outputs and outcomes. So when you are on ground doing your field visit, you look at the project outputs and services and uh, assess uh, the, the adequacy in terms of uh, quality 
and quantity of uh, how much outputs have you achieved relating to maybe contributing to achieving a certain outcome in the project and now what's the quality of these outputs yeah these are be the expected results and how are they uh, impacting Eman is looking at the social change right now impacting the lives of these what beneficiaries and after you've done that yeah, using the data collection methods you identified earlier when you're preparing for your field visit. Uh, you've done your field visit, you identified the key areas you want to report on, you prepare your report immediately after the field visit. Uh, in this report, you can highlight key stakeholders' views as well as their own observations and their recommendations on how to address the issues or concerning the program or project in case there are any recommendations from them. Because normally, since uh, these projects are context-based and uh, directly involved with beneficiaries, it's good to have that feedback on so that for you to know how you can actually improve your project or program. Then you actually, then you design your field report after getting that feedback. Yeah. And uh, share your field monitoring report or visit, field monitoring visit to the key designated institution stakeholders. These are donors, these are your project managers. You share with them your field visit report. So what should you include in the field visit report? One, basic information of the program. Yeah, what is uh, the program, pro uh, the name of the program, the project start date and end date, what the key target beneficiaries, what are the program areas. That's basic information about the program. You include that. You have to include that in. Then the purpose of your field visit report, maybe the objective. Yeah, you include the objective of your field visit, field visit report. Then uh, three is uh, finding sections. So in the finding sections, one, you're... Uh, include the uh, general observation of the visit of, of your visits. Yeah, uh, in this uh, you can add a few paragraphs or few pages about the general observation from your field visits. Or so, yeah, that's relating to the data collection methods you used. If you did some interviews, you uh, you can write about that. If you did some uh, FGDs, you can write about that. If you're normally observing, just yes, you can still write about that. Uh, you can include some case stories or success stories from your field visits and uh, photos. Yeah, to illustrate, to better illustrate your points. Yeah, and uh, then uh, after that, and, uh, that is still under the finding sections, include uh, the specific issues and actions. These are the call to actions uh, regarding to the problems you identified during your field visits. So you can include uh, a section on that, that this is the uh, issue found and this is the action. And also this will be the person responsible to address what? That action. Then include your conclusion section. And that's it about the field visits, food visits or monitoring reports, food monitoring reports. Thank you very much. Like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.